in continuation with my class we are doing measures of dispersion and in measures of dispersion we finished with the range we finished with quartile deviation we finished with mean deviation we are doing standard deviation and we are doing it in the individual series or the ungrouped series and in that we finished the direct method we finished the actual mean method and right now we are doing the assumed mean method and in this we take any value arbitrarily and especially we we go into this for a reason sometimes it happens that the when you work out the actual mean it comes into fractions then it becomes very difficult and tedious so this is also known as the assume mean method we are so doing, and sometimes it's also called the shortcut method. So we are doing the shortcut method. We are taking the same values as 5, 10, 25, 30, 50. And I have taken 25 as an assumed value. And arbit arbitrarily I have uh, selected that value and assumed mean. So x from this, these uh, variables, from each variable, I minus the assumed mean and what I get is a deviation from there and I don't ignore the plus and minus signs I write it down for example 5 minus 25 is minus 20 I write it as minus 20 and then I square them up in the next column so another thing in all of these columns just be very careful we we also talk about summing of all the values we talk about summing of all the deviations, which comes to minus 5. And here we sum up all the deviation squares, the squared deviations. And this is a formula that we have to follow. Sigma d square, this one, this is sigma d square. Okay, divided by n, total number is 5, minus sigma d upon n the whole square. So sigma d is minus 5. And this is how we now in this we're going to put the values once we put the values we get standard deviation that's how and then we work out square root is this so uh, square root of the standard deviation is 15.937 uh, that's how we get it and then coefficient of standard deviation is standard deviation divided by the mean so so standard deviation okay i didn't write the formula so coefficient is standard deviation divided by mean. So you get what is known as coefficient is 0 0.664. So once again, let me just tell you shortcut method of calculating standard deviation is useful when mean value is in whole number. Sometimes uh, mean value may be in fractions. Okay. So therefore, calculation of standard deviation may become complicated and difficult. So then we use the shortcut methods to simplify the calculation. And so the following steps are taken. First, take any value of the series. From the series, like I selected 25 as the assumed mean. Then from there, in the next column as I did, D. Take the deviations of the items from the assumed mean, X minus A, and denote it by a small d. Calculate the sum of these deviations to obtain sigma d. So that's how we get sigma d as minus 5. Then the square deviation uh, taken from the assumed mean and then you obtain the sigma d square which comes to 1275 as you can see on the board. Then apply the following formula and that's how you get the standard deviation. So this is a shortcut method. Once again, I hope you have made a note of it in your notebooks and for your homework, you must open your books and do one standard deviation from the ungrouped data or from the individual series and it will be, and then you can do one from, one from the exercise. If you do it three times, it stays, believe me.